My eyelids are heavy and my head swoons as I chase my fingers around the glass that's laid out before me. I lift my head to gather my thoughts and bring myself back to reality. The banquet hall is so large, the uniform chairs lining the table stretch on into the Amethyst horizon, seeming as though they would never truly cease. I strained my eyes and found the end of the table. Where's at the <laughs> finest throne you could ever look upon with earthly eyes? A rhythmic jewel is in purple garb covered the scene with such luxuriance that even the most pompous of citrus would gape in admiration. And yet, the chair sat empty. I turned my gaze to the right to find a dance floor blanketed in an assorted garb and costume of divine magnificence. Settled <gasps> to top one of the most equitable of her was a delicate tiara. Affixed above an elegant king's crown. I rose from my chair, my legs wobbly and my balance all steady, and it advanced towards the crown. I stopped. Down and lifted the crown and tiara, gently placing it by my side. Lifting the gown of such excellence, I choked the air as my heart raced from what I found beneath charred bones and ash. I tried to gather my composure, but failed, and I fell to the floor. My eyes opened to the pale moonlight, casting a gloomy shadow across my bedroom, and only to the Lord Grandfather clock that stood in the corner of my chamber. The clock was striking three as I rose from my bed, piecing together the dream I had just encountered. The room was stifling, and I found it hard to think in such a dreary circumstance, so I turned to the nearest wall, opening the window. I allowed my head to rest outside and breathed in fresh, cool air. Oh, how Venus was so tranquil at this time of year.